One of the biggest news stories today is Giannis's injury. Now, of course, we hate to see stars get injured or anyone get injured for that matter, but especially in, in th- this postseason where you already have multiple players that are out due to injury. So definitely wish Giannis the best and hopefully he gets to come back soon and healthy. However, even without Giannis, the Bucks can still pull out this next game and probably the series. Before I explain how the Bucks can win against the Hawks, if you like content like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So at first people may be wondering, well, how have the Bucks have been doing without Giannis when they play games without him? And actually, they play decently. They have about a 500 record. So definitely not the worst team in the world, but definitely not the best. So I think there are three main keys to the game and how the Bucks can beat the Hawks without Giannis. And so firstly, I think it really centers around the Bucks' defense. The Bucks have been a good defense all season long, and Giannis has been a really big part of that. However, even without Giannis, they are still an elite defensive team. They have really good defenders such as Drew Holiday, PJ Tucker, Brooke Lopez, and, and these are guys that have made defensive teams before. And so I fully expect, especially at home, for the Bucks to come out more concentrated and come out with more energy, especially on the defensive end, to slow down the Hawks' offense, which has been really good for most of the season. And then I think with that energy and concentration as well, I believe they'll be a lot better in taking care of the ball in this game. And in the last game, they were a bit sloppy. They had about 15 turnovers, which is more than their usual and more than Atlanta had. And so there were a lot of wasted possessions in that game. And then the second key to the game is that I think that one of the bench players or role players of the Bucks need to really step up in Giannis's absence. So I think for Brooke Lopez specifically, he needs to step up on rebounding, especially because Giannis is one of the best rebounders in the game and Lopez has to cover for his absence. And also, I wouldn't be surprised if they were to feature Lopez maybe a little bit more. I don't know if post-ups are the most effective play for him, especially against Capella, but he is a decent offensive player, so maybe he could get some looks. And then I also do think that Bobby Portis and Bryn Forbes need to really step up in scoring. Uh, Bobby Portis might get the start for Giannis to cover up for some rebounding, but I do believe that Bryn Forbes, especially off the bench, needs to have a big game in order for them to have a good chance at winning. And lastly, the key player that needs to play really well in order for the Bucks to win is Chris Middleton. He needs to have a superstar-like performance in order for the Bucks to carry on in the playoffs. And I remember in Game 5 against the Heat last year, Middleton carried the team without Giannis. Giannis actually only played 11 minutes in that game, but Middleton, he played 47 minutes, he had 36 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists. He's going to need a repeat-like performance in order for the Bucks to advance in the playoffs, but he has shown in the past he is definitely capable of carrying a team when needed. He is inconsistent sometimes, as you saw in the last game, he was inefficient, but I do believe with Giannis out, they'll have the energy and he'll be a lot more focused in this game. And then I also do see Holiday potentially having a big game. Honestly, I think if either Middleton or Holiday has a really good game, then they'll advance. Um, but I do think there's a little bit more pressure on Middleton to perform, especially because he's considered more of the secondary scorer to Giannis and the closer of the team. Although Holiday will have a lot more opportunities, he's actually really great in the pick and roll. And in fact, among players that have had at least 500 pick and roll opportunities, Holiday is actually in the 20th percentile. So he's a really good pick and roll player. I expect to see a lot more opportunities from him in this game, potentially two man action with Lopez and Holiday. And so I think he could have a really great game as well. And so to sum it up, the Bucks have to play really good defense. They really have to have a bench player, a role player step up, especially in scoring. And lastly, they need Chris Middleton or potentially Drew Holiday to have a superstar performance. And that is how the Bucks can beat the Hawks without Giannis. 
If you like more content like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.